Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Be Castled. We are going to continue to expand our kingdom and make this the best castle that can be made. We are going to run into some issues. I did set this at 10 days maximum, um, so we won't be able to expand too much. So live and learn. In the next playthrough of Be Castled, we will certainly set that to unlimited days to ensure that we can see as much as this game has to offer. But I want to finish this through so we get a good idea of the play mechanics, the game mechanics, whatever you want to call it. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and start and get ready for this next attack. Looks like they're going to be coming from this direction. Uh, so we're going to drop ourselves a tower right there. And let's also go ahead and make sure we've got workers full up. All right, so this sawmill needs some workers there. And we got some archers training as well. We are running low on food. We're losing about 30 food a minute, so we need to uh, fix that. And I'm thinking we're going to capture this tile right here on our next turn next day. Plenty of wood and deer, so we can put a hunter's hunt down there and harvest those deers. All right, so our builders are building that tower there. Um, we've got six archers available to staff that tower, to man that tower. So let's go ahead and train up three more archers there we go three and we'll send those archers up there and then let's get these three archers and we'll put them right behind them there perfect and we'll also need to get some more housing going here soon we got what 680 wood um no we'll wait for the next day and then we will uh go ahead and put down that housing sometimes when you buy tiles uh so if we were to buy this tile right now these blue flames will move, um, and I'd hate for it to move all the way down here and then us not be prepared. So we'll just hang out and wait for a few more minutes. What do we got? Three and a half minutes. So let's, while we're waiting, I want to build um, Tavern would give us a nice boost to mood. I'm pretty sure you get a plus 10 boost. So we'll hang off on that, or we might build that. What else could we build? Warehouse, barn, we don't need any of that yet. Um... Fields, I don't think, yeah, fields have to be with flowers, so we could put fields here, but we obviously don't own those tiles yet. Um, what else could we build? We could build the barracks, and that would allow us to make more swordsmen, um, but I think my goal is to go archers for now. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead, and since we've got the wood, we'll put a wall there, and we'll push these guys back. We'll let that builder come over there and build that. There should be three archers standing here. Perfect. So we'll get those archers up there. How are we doing on food? Still losing 30 a minute, um, but we know how we're going to fix that once we can. I think we can also go ahead and plop down another market stall. Let's plop that there. And it might not hurt to also get a builder's guild soon. Um, maybe we put our builder's guild right here just so we can keep uh two people assigned as builders oops that is not the way i want it to be facing all right let's go ahead and change that perfect so we should now have six archers up there we can go ahead and um let's see we got two people as builders let's go ahead and plop down another house we'll put that there and then i want to go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and build the tavern. We won't staff it yet, but we can go ahead and build the tavern and we'll put that tavern right there. Perfect. All right, we got two minutes till the next attack. We should have our six arch or excuse me, nine archers up here any second. It's telling me six. Where's the other? Where's the other archers at? Are they in the tower? Are they working their way up the tower? Maybe. Am I going crazy, guys? I thought we had nine archers up there. We trained three and moved the three, or excuse me, trained six and moved the rest up over there. All right, who's missing? Where are they at? Nine. Yeah, maybe I did my math wrong. Okay, let's go ahead and train up some more archers. We'll go ahead and train three more. Perfect. So those guys will start training for us. Yeah, I thought we had nine assigned. Eh, whatever. Um, we could put our swordsmen up here, but that'll do us no good. It's not like they can, uh, attack from the top of the walls. All right, we do have zero on the mood, so let's go ahead and assign one person to work the tavern so we get that 
first plus five of the ten uh, for our mood bonus. Whoa, building needs workers. Yep, we're sending workers that way. All right, two of the archers are done training. Let's go ahead and send those guys up there. What do we got? 45 seconds to the next attack, so it's getting close. All right, and we got one more archer training, and that will put us at nine archers in the tower. Now this is telling me up six. Okay, yeah, I don't know where those other guys go. Maybe I dismissed them or something? Whatever. If you haven't checked out Be Castled yet on Steam, please do. It just went into early access a couple of days ago. It's pretty cheap. It's only $14 or $15 right now. Definitely, definitely, definitely check it out. I think it is worth the value if you're into building little castles like this. It does not have the in-depthness of Stronghold, but that's okay. Um, if you're not looking to play a castle simulation game that's you know going to eat a lot of time away, this is definitely the game for you where you can hop in, play for an hour or two, and um, build a pretty cool castle. There's none of that micromanaging of, okay, I want the wall to go here, and then zig and zag and do all that. It's pretty much you can build your wall here or you can't. All right, here comes our enemy. Let's take a good peek. It looks like we've got some axemen moving in on us, or shieldmen, and a troll. But our archers should do a, a pretty good amount of damage to them. We got our swordsmen ready to defend if they make it past our archers. And it looks like a lot of these axemen. Let's move our swordsmen here to defend the, the door. All right. And they're going to trigger some of the wolves to come over and attack them as well. So that will be a nice little help for us. All right, have we lost anyone yet? We have lost three so far, and those guys are sneaking around. I wonder if those three were the archers. I would have sworn we had extra archers somewhere. All right, so our archers are at the top of the tower, raining arrows down upon our enemies. These last of these moon shield men should be dropping here soon. We'll get these two guys to attack there. Okay, our archers in this tower are also helping. That troll is taking a lot of damage, and he should fall here soon, and there he goes. So now it is up to our swordsmen to kill the last of these few uh, axemen or shieldmen. All right, and I think we're about done. One more to go here, and that is the last one. Perfect. We survive the night. Go team. Ra ra ra. Where is the next attack going to come from? It is going to come over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and reposition our swordsmen. We've got plenty of wood, so we're going to have it the tower built there. All right, so they will build that tower there. Let's go ahead and capture this, and then we're going to put down the. Oh, we don't. We got need a little bit more wood uh, for that hunter's hut. So then, what we'll do is move this tower's worth of archers to this tower once it is built. Because we are now officially out of food. So that is not good. Workers being attacked. Who's attacking him? Hmm, I don't know. All right, so we got 360 wood. Let's go ahead and put the hunter's hut down. And we'll drop that right there. And then we'll get our wonderful hunters over there to get us some more food to be produced. What do we got? Negative 50 food a minute right now. All right, yep. Workers being attacked. I don't know. Oh, are they going out there by the wolves maybe? Uh, I don't know. It still says we got two full workers there. All right, this tower is now done. So let's go ahead and move these nine archers over there. Make sure we're ready to defend when the enemy comes in the next six minutes or so. All right, they are building the hunter's hut over here. So what we'll be able to do is once this hunter's hut is completed, we will get two hunters down there uh, very quickly. And then we'll also, I think we'll get hides or deer hides. Um, from hunting the deer and we can sell that in that other market stall keeps telling me a worker's under attack who keeps getting attacked over here guys i don't know um oh it's probably because they don't have any food okay so let's go ahead and put some workers we don't have any workers because everyone is now starving um let's go ahead and take these guys off the lumber mill and we'll put them in the hunter's hut so we make sure we're producing enough food and our people don't start to uh die from starvation because we're now down what four people yeah four people all right so we are should be at a we're only losing 10 food a minute uh so hopefully these guys get down there soon and start producing food for us uh, we did lose a barkeep there as well that's okay our archers are starting to make their way to the top of the tower i still think i don't know where those other three archers went but they must have died somehow because it says they uh 
they went missing. So I'm not that crazy. I'm a little bit crazy, but not that crazy. All right, so we got deer leather. We could start selling in here if we wanted to. Uh, so let's go ahead and assign a worker and he'll start selling deer leather there as well. Perfect. Let's build, let's see, we are producing f an additional 50 food a minute. So we will go ahead and put down another house here. Yep, there we go. And then we will get some tavern keeps to improve our mood greatly. Uh, let's also go ahead and get them to build more wall section right here. Turn that around, 450 wood. Oh, we're short eight wood. All right, guys, uh, let's go ahead and assign a lumberjack there so he can get some wood for us. These guys are hunting and they're getting all that beautiful food for us. Fantastic, fantastic indeed. Eh, the spacing on this is a little wonky, but that's okay. If you haven't, please like the video. Comment whether you like the castle or you want me to play another video game. Also, go ahead and leave some comments on the sound quality, audio quality, video quality, anything you know on the production side of the video, because that is how I get better and grow. And please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you're getting this great content on time and in an orderly fashion that I am making. If you're not a fan of Be Castled, I have plenty of other games. We've got Meeple Station, we've done some Company of Heroes, and plenty of other little one-off videos or some two video game uh, videos as well. Please check those out. We have... Three minutes and 10 seconds until the next attack for 514 wood. So let's go ahead and build the next wall section here. We will click that. Uh, how are we doing on food? We are producing 20 food a minute. So it might not hurt us to start capturing. We've got four food tiles here that we could capture next if we need them. Hunters are doing us some justice. This gentleman here, or I guess it could be a lady, is selling those deer hides. Uh, in market for 77 sunstone plus one mood. Uh, let's go ahead and assign a tavern keep as well. Um, okay, so we've got him plus these two guys, three guys over here building. So let's go ahead and build a, when we get enough wood, we'll build the builder's guild. So that means we can keep people assigned as builders and not worry about always having to have people over here. Uh, let's go ahead and assign one more tavern keeper since we've got all those extra people. And let's also go ahead and train up a couple extra archers. We'll get two archers so we can put them on the wall there. All right, 136 wood. Perfect. Only got one woodworker over here, one lumberjack over here. Make sure all of our other buildings are up to snuff. So our sawmills are down one person each. Um, so let's go ahead and assign him to a sawmill. Oops. So he can start helping chop down some lumber for us as well. Our bar keeps are both over here now. So we've got that positive nine mood, that's good. Positive 10 mood, there it goes. It's all the way up to its maximum. So how are we doing on food? 20 food a minute, so we need to watch that. It. We could also get the stone pile here um, and get a stone hut here. So we could start upgrading some of these buildings. That might not hurt as well. Uh, or we could knock out these wolves dens and capture these boars there. That would help. Um, we only got a minute left. Let's go ahead and build the builder's guild right here. Yeah, we'll build the builder's guild there. Get these archers up on the wall. You know, two more people shooting arrows. And we'll put them on that far end. There we go. All right, so 50 seconds to the next attack. I think we're in pretty good shape. Uh, 172 wood. I don't think we can wall off any more sections. Nope, that one takes 600. That takes 450, so nowhere close. Another 36 seconds. That Builder's Guild is being built. I want to take a good peek at that. Let's take a, a nice peek at what we got so far. So our ca little castle is expanding quite greatly. You can see, let's get a nice little... Uh, from the ground view, there's the walls, there's the towers. You can see some of the archers sticking their heads out over top. I like the art style of the game. It is very appeasing to me. All right, so the Builder's Guild is done. Um, we got two guys, so we'll go ahead and assign one to the Builder's Guild, and they will make sure we always have at least one builder available. Um, and then let's go ahead and assign this other guy. Oops, it is nighttime, here comes the attack. I see a bunch of archers heading our way. So hopefully our archers can pick them off or do a lot of damage before they get into 
range and start shooting at our guys. I see them shooting over the wall at our swordsmen. They got a hell of a shot. Good for them. Um, so our archers are returning fire and knocking out a lot of those people. Let's go ahead and get our swordsmen here because those trolls are about to turn that corner. Hopefully we knock out these axemen. Yep, those axemen are gone. I see one archer over there still shooting. Let's get these two archers to take him out. Let's see. Let's go ahead and have our swordsmen move back because I don't want them dancing with the wolves. We've got this tower also helping out, taking out this last troll. And there goes the last troll, and I think we survived. Yep, we survived. Go team. The next attack, all right, is going to come right here. So it will be very imperative that we build another wall section right there. So let's go ahead and have these guys back off a little bit. We will assign this other guy to the lumber hut because we're going to need a lot of wood for this next turn. We'll have two towers, two full towers there, and we'll probably train up how we do on food. Only got producing 10 a minute, so we might not be able to train up too many more archers, but we could uh, certainly we could either move these guys here, build another tower there. Um, let's see, how much wood do we got? 388, and I think it said 600 wood to, uh, I don't want to fence it, I want to wall it. Yeah, 600 woods. So hopefully we get enough wood to build the wall, and then if we have any leftover, we'll build a tower there as well. This is day six. We only got four more days left, uh, so we should hopefully be able to survive, and that will leave us with a, um, you know, moving into another game or another tower or castle or whatever, uh, and we can certainly sign into Unlimited and, you know, make things a little more interesting than this so far. It's been kind of a slow drag, but that's okay. Okay, 652. Let's go ahead and put the wall up there. Perfect. Nice big wall. And we'll get our one builder to go over there and start building it for us. Once we get enough 150 wood, maybe we can uh, build another house. I don't know. we got to watch our food. It's getting pretty tight. Uh, I wish we, what we should do is probably capture this, get stone, and then upgrade everything. Because we can upgrade the farm, upgrade the hunter's cabin. Or we could capture like this tile with the cows yeah cows and put a uh, farm there and harvest the cows that way i don't know we got a lot of options but let's make sure our defenses are set up and ready to go we only got five minutes and 45 seconds to the next attack um, so we'll build this wall and definitely build another tower here and then move those guys over there i know i think we said we we're going to do you know build skip build but it might not hurt to do a tower on every corner just at these weird angles because now you know if they came from this angle it would take them you know they'd be so far from these towers that it would be hard to attack them all right we got that 300 wood so let's go ahead and build why can't we build that tower there because it's the corner um okay let's move these guys maybe that's the issue so we'll move them down there all right there we go. Now that they're moved, we can build our tower there, and that will give us plenty of room to move those guys over there, and I feel a lot better about defending this section of the castle because then we'll have almost two full towers, or we will have two full towers plus these two guys defending. Hopefully they come this way, and then we can rain arrows from both towers like that. If they come from this way, then it's only really one tower, but that's okay. It's better than nothing. All right, we're at plus nine mood, doing good there. Still missing those three archers, which perplexes me how that happened, but whatever. 15 population. Uh, 136 wood, so we can't quite... Oh, we can build a new house. Oh, we just got that extra wood. Um, let's go ahead and drop a house over... Um, yeah, we'll put it next to the tavern so the city drunk has somewhere to live and he can just walk from the tavern to his house. All right, so that tower is going up. It is about done. He went all the way around to build it. Luckily, he's not building it from over here, or those wolves would be getting him, but that's okay. He's on this side of the, the wolves. All right, right, let's. that's really cool. Let's take another view of our, our castle now that we got that other wall up. All right, and let's just turn it like that. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty neat. Wait for that other tower to be built. There we go. How cool is that? Nice little shot of the castle. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so let's go ahead and move these guys over here. So let's go ahead and select those. There should be nine of them. There we go, those nine, and let's move them there. And then we'll move these two archers to the other side of the wall there. All right, and we should have a nice little defense set up for the next attack. 
again, we'll leave these guys kind of behind the wall in reserve. Um, because if they flank this way, then we can move our archers or our swordsmen there. Or if they flank this way, then we can move them over there and meet them there. 202 wood, still producing food. Got another house built. That is good. Um, um, since we got extra people, we'll go ahead and train up. Uh, let's train three archers because then I'll put five on the wall with a total of, uh, let's see, would that be 18 plus five would be 23. So actually, let's go ahead and make that 24, 25. All right, so a nice round number. And we'll start getting plenty of archers to uh, defend our little castle here. It is growing quite a bit. I am excited to see how we survive this next attack, the day, or I guess night six attack. Let's see, what else? We haven't really looked at the decorations. Let's look at the decorations. I Let's see, we got the fountains. We can't build any of those. We could build a tree. We could build a scarecrow, some arches, and some bushes. Oh, let's build a scarecrow. Why not? We'll put it right over, put a scarecrow here. And then I don't think we can chop these trees down. No, they don't look like the type you can chop down. But let's just, for funsies, drop a tree right there, and we'll see what it looks like. And we can also drop a bush. Let's drop a bush along the back of the archery range and, you know, just see what some of these decorations look like. I think they also improve mood or attractiveness of the cell. Yeah, because that went from 0 to 20. And we'll, I'll be interested to see what this improves to. Um, so this one's going to go in here. So let's see what it jumps to. All right, so that went from 20 to 45. So that was an improvement of 15. Or excuse me, 25. Um and that bush moved it from 45 to 75. All right, so that cell is a lot more attractive. There's no happiness bonus from it. Let's see, no happiness bonus here. Um, let's just go ahead and put some bushes alongside the house. See what happens. We'll put one there. And let's put one there. You know, the, the town drunk, the city drunk needs all the privacy he can get. So our builder will come down there and build that. Very nice. So let, I wonder if when this hits 100... All right, so when that hits 100 and it goes to level 2, we got the 1.5 bonus for happiness. So does this cause any bonus here? Nope, but it gave us the bonus up there. All right, that's pretty cool. So we could directly improve the cells and make sure uh, we're improving the happiness. So this is at 40. This is at 75. So let's um, let's just drop a, another some um, hedges along the side of the building here. Or can we put them... Um, yeah, we can put one here. All right, that's nice. So, and then let's put a bush just randomly uh, over here, kind of out of the way, and this should improve that to level two attractiveness and give us another little bonus for our happiness or our mood. All right, plus 11. Resonant spawn rate is now 207%. Dang, we are up there indeed. Uh, 734 wood, so let's go ahead and, um, no, I don't want to capture territory yet. Let's go ahead and wall off, now oh, here comes the attackers, so we can't do that anyways. All right, so they are coming from this angle and this angle, about what we could ask for. Uh, I'm guessing more, yep, there's the battering ram spawning in, or is that a catapult? Yep, that's a battering ram. So hopefully, between our archers and these wolves, we will be able to defend ourselves. This tower is already ripping these uh, moon archers apart, so that is good. They will not be able to do any damage to us. And these guys are gonna run into the wolves and our tower there. All right, it looks like this little attack sector should be wiped out before it can even do anything. Yep, okay, so all the people are over there are killed. Now they just have to destroy the battering ram. This tower is laying waste to these uh, moon shield men. And the wolves are joining in the fray as well. Let's go ahead and start to reposition our swordsmen just in case. Because um, not only do they have to get past this wolf's den, they're going to have to go through this wolf's den as well. And our archer tower will probably be firing on them the entire time they are working that way. So that battering ram is destroyed. So these archers, a couple of them are joining in and shooting over to these guys. Very nice. You know, leave a comment down below if you like the combat system in this game. I enjoy it. It's pretty simple. You know, point and click. There's not all these weird, like, rally and patrol orders and all the fun things in games of that nature. All right, so our swordsmen are ready. Looks like a few people are going to make it through. Actually, no, I want you guys to back off 
because I do not want you tangling with the wolves. And I'd rather give our archers more time to, to pick these people off if we can. So our swordsmen are engaging the few that made it around. And they should have these shieldmen knocked out pretty quickly. Yep, there they go. And let's just keep moving them back again because we want those archers to do as much damage as possible. So we are not jeopardizing our swordmen. Okay, it looks like we knocked out all the people. So now we just have to destroy that last battering ram. The wolves are not going to attack it because I don't know what tile it says it's technically in this tile maybe i'm not sure but anyways we survived another night with no deaths so that is good go us let's go ahead and we'll just go ahead and target that and destroy that last battering ram and that will be the end of the night night six and moving into day seven here soon again make sure you like the video comment whether you want me to keep playing be castled or another game or if you like the audio or whatever about the presentation just let me know Getting that feedback from you guys is the only way I can improve and make the game better. Looks like our next attack is coming this way. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the Tooth and Scrubs Gaming Channel so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for joining me today here in Be Castled. Uh, and thank you for stopping by. And we will see you in the next Be Castled video.